Completing the square, grade A, A star question. Now, I'm going to start this question by showing you how to do this without actually knowing any method for completing the square. We just want to write, rewrite this quadratic into the form that's stated here. So if we multiply out this form, x plus a all squared, so that's x plus a times x plus a, and then we're going to take away b, then we end up with x squared, we've got a times x, and we've got x times a, which is 2ax. Then we've got a times a, which is a squared. And then we've got the minus b that's on the outside. So what we have here, the x squared is, is fairly straightforward. That's going to stay the same. The 2ax must be the same as plus 6x. So that tells us that 2a must equal 6 implies a equals 3. And the third bit we have a squared minus b is just the number that's on the end, the minus 5. So a squared minus b equals minus 5. Now we know a is 3 from what we've just done, so a squared is 9. 9 minus b is minus 5. Um, take the 9 away from both sides, you get minus 14. Change the sign to make it positive, so now b is going to be plus 14. So there we have it, x plus 3 all squared minus 14. And when we multiply that out, we'll get this equation here, or this expression here. Now, there is a quick way of doing that. If you know this, and you, you, you practice this a bit, you know that when we're doing completing the square, putting it into a bracket where we've got x plus something all squared plus or minus something, that this number here, the 6, comes in here and we halve it to get 3. So always half that value because this, two, this is always going to be 2a is equal to that number. So that's always going to be half. Then we realize when we multiply out this bracket, we've got 3 times 3, which is the a squared part. Where's that? Here it is, a squared minus b, a squared minus b. This a squared part is going to come from this 3 squared. Now we don't want that 3 squared, we want minus 5, so we want it to be minus 5. But we're going to get 9 because we're going to square the 3. So we just take the 9 away from this bracket, because this bracket will generate a 9. If we take it away, that gets rid of it and leaves us with the minus 5. And then all we've got to do is to combine those two to get the overall form, which is 3 plus x plus 3 all squared minus 14, which is what we have down there.